Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you how to attach a KitchenAid bowl to a mixer. This will be an easy tutorial, so let's get right into the video. So let's say you have a bowl like this, which is a KitchenAid bowl for the KitchenAid mixer, and then you have the mixer itself. It's gonna be in one of two formats. Essentially, you're either gonna have the tilt head option, which is this one right here where the head tilts up and lowers into place, or you're gonna have the bowl lowering option. It all depends on the model that you bought. There are also different sized bowls, but they work in the same way for attaching them. So essentially, you wanna gain access, free and clear access to the bowl area. So right now, I can I can insert the bowl like this. I can kind of maneuver it like this around the, the beater head area right there, but I'm not gonna do that. You wanna get, sorry about that, you wanna get a good amount of space to work with the bowl. So I'm gonna tilt the, the, the head of the KitchenAid stand mixer up like that. So I've tilted it up and now I have a lot more space to work with. Or alternatively, you can lower the bowl and then you're gonna have a lot more space to work with. You just wanna do all that you can. If you can't do it, then yes, you can maneuver it in. But for this video, I'm just gonna show you how to do it properly. Now, on your KitchenAid stand mixer, there are these little notches you see right there, right there, right there, and right there, okay? So there's these notches right here. And essentially what they do is when you slide the bowl under them, there's parts of the bowl that connect with these notches and it will tighten it into place. So you can see the notch actually sends the bowl down and tightens it into place, okay? So when you look at the bottom of the bowl, this is what it connects with. There I am in the reflection of the bowl. <laughs> well, that's really clear. I thought it was gonna be a little bit more blurry. So thankfully I'm dressed for the occasion. I have like jeans and a shirt on. Anyway, sometimes I film videos and I don't even know what I'm wearing if I'm behind the camera. So I'm, you know, at least I'm dressed for the occasion, thankfully. Anyways, these are the things that slide under. These are the notches that slide under. So essentially you wanna place the bowl on top of that area right there. Let me just lower this down just a touch right there. We're gonna place the bowl on top over here let's try and get this to focus right here okay and what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn it okay and I like to turn it with both hands okay you can do it with one hand with just a handle but I like to turn it with both hands and then sort of also hold the the machine down at the same time the mixer down turn it clockwise so we're turning it clockwise like this if there if you're looking at it overhead and this is a clock you're turning it clockwise in the same way the clock would turn so I'm gonna take this right here and I'm gonna turn it clockwise like that and what's going to happen is I just got some resistance right there, okay? Once you feel that resistance, you just give it a little crank and you're good to go. So right now, as you can see, I can tap this. It's pretty well in place, right? Obviously, I fight, if I loosen it, it wouldn't be in place, right? So you're going to turn it clockwise like this, clockwise. Right there is the resistance. When you get that resistance, give it a little crank. And that's all that you need, right? It's not gonna turn any more than that. When, when you give it a little crank, it's not gonna turn any more than that. At that point, you can lower your mixer, your, your, your tilt head, you can lower it down and lock it in place, okay? Or you can raise the bowl up if you have the bowl lowering option. That's it, if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.